And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and brought forth, some thirty, and some sixty, and some an hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. So what's this conversion about that's attached to forgiveness of sins? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So what do you think Freud would have to say about that kind of a conversion? Or any modern day antichrist psychiatrist who gets paid big money to label people. Are they transformed by the renewing of their minds? Or do they conform to this world for certain reasons? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And I'm in no way suggesting to anyone to go to some ungodly Catholic priest to confess sins, by the way. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. So considering that we must be converted and become like little children, that our sins be forgiven, Let's make sense of these commonly misunderstood verses. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, past tense, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, now I'm going to show you a video clip of what children do sometimes that might embarrass or upset some adults. I'm headed up to Golden, Colorado this morning to distribute some of my writings. This is a vehicle that I am using. I got it used. It gets me around very well. It's a 21 speed mountain bike. These are the writings that I'm distributing this morning. So I switch off. Sometimes I distribute some of the other writings that I've talked about in some of my other videos. I have my frisbee here and shoes in case I care to put those on. Headed up this away. There's a sandstone colored building in the middle of the screen there. And I'm going to go on a little bit past that. 
just into those mountains ahead. It's not really all that far to take a bicycle. It's about five miles from here, and I've already come up this way or west towards the mountains a couple miles, so it's about seven miles or maybe seven and a half miles from where Kathy and I are staying. This is the clear creek. Well, the audio on that video clip I just showed wasn't that great. So in case you couldn't hear, I'll just say that I was talking about going up to Golden, Colorado from Wheat Ridge. That was the clear creek that you could see there in, in that clip. And the papers that I showed that were rolled up, I talked about distributing them and I'll leave a link there was actually two papers in there you could only see the one on the outside because they were rolled up but I'll leave a link for a couple of videos where I actually read those writings so you can hear what those writings say this is a picture I took going up the bike path towards Golden and this is a picture I took when I got to Golden and another picture in Golden that I took. I talked to some college students there. I went to the fire department, talked to them. I left writings at the police department and businesses, library. A lot of people are hip to horrible corruption that I write about in those things and they're ready to see some things happen where these politicians and these people this false administration that's been set up a lot of people are ready to see them come down because they've been so blatant in their thefts and just the things that they do they have a separate law for themselves as we know and I went to this area there that had these old structures that they moved all to this one area I was told that some of these structures were up in the mountains in different areas and they just moved them to different areas. This was a schoolhouse, an old schoolhouse that they put in that spot. And I don't agree with school and the rules and the hypocrisy of the teachers and the government guide or the certain government guidelines because those are not the government of God. I don't speak against the government of God, but these government guidelines that they have in schools are not of God. School is only mentioned one time in my King James Bible. It talks about the school of one Tyrannus. I say that's where children are taught from a young age to be future tax slaves to perverted and counterfeit government. There's another picture of the Clear Creek and there's a guy kayaking there Me with my feet in the water. Cold water. And this is a picture of some litter along a lake somebody littered and stuck a sign here it says golden water supply keep out no fishing or recreation allowed so they stuck their metal and paint along there we see this here and there in places I don't agree with it at all some people will charge other people for littering and they themselves litter 
they junk up the place. Who wants to see this crap? There's another video I took of Clear Creek and the mountains around it. I just thought I'd stop for a few moments and smell the roses in between slamming false powers. There's a shower, foot bath, tub, no building codes, no anal retentive persons expecting to get paid for their rules of how a tub should be. I would imagine some people might pay a lot of money for a tub like this in their home. I just don't agree with Ranger Rick and how he sells his rules in Jellystone Park. I mean this isn't Jellystone Park but there's basically a lot of Ranger Rick types in so many parks selling their fishing rules and swimming rules and crap and laws of hypocrisy. Just thought I'd mention that.